Headlight on. Light on. Headlight off. Light off. What's going on guys? So before you click away from this video because bicycling isn't your thing, this might make bicycling your thing. This is such a cool and innovative bike and I, I got to tell you about this because for the price and for what it's capable of doing, this may convert people who typically wouldn't ride bikes into riding bikes. All right, so what you're looking at in front of you is a carbon fiber e-bike. Now, there are carbon fiber e-bikes. I have a mountain bike, a Cannondale, that's a carbon fiber mountain e-bike. However, this is a very cool bike. This is like a commuter bike. It's a single speed bike. It's got a lot of really, really great perks to it. But the single biggest perk that this has, well, I guess there's several of them. I can't really say the single biggest. One of the biggest is the fact that this thing weighs like 30 pounds, which is insanely light for an e-bike. So it's not an integrated battery pack like you see on a lot of e-bikes, especially commuter style e-bikes. This is really, really cool. First, let's go over some of the specs of it, which I think are, are gonna be important to note. The first thing we'll take a look at here are the tires. So this is a 37-62, it is a 700cc tire. The, uh, the bike itself has a carbon fiber frame and it has aluminum wheels and it has Kenda tires on those wheels. It is a single speed bike from a gear drive perspective. So there's actually no shifting mechanism on the bike itself. And what's also really cool is the fact that there's no chain. It actually has a carbon fiber belt drive right here. I mean, check that out. That is super cool. Everything looks like it's really, really well designed, really well cut, very nicely engineered. But yeah, that is super cool. Again, there's no shifting here. All shifting takes place up here. So right off the bat, the most unique thing you've probably never seen on a bike before is this integrated computer into the center. Check that out. Carbon fiber handlebars. You have a biometric fingerprint scanner down here. You have your toggle switches up here to change to your different speeds. And it has a really, really good sounding speaker integrated into it as well. It's definitely not something you'll probably be able to pick up much on camera, or at least on my microphone. But yeah, it sounds great. It has turn signals. It has the little line projectors off the side so you can show kind of visual aids of where you're riding in case people are going to be driving by you. It's got an integrated headlight up front. Now, why is this thing so cool? So first of all, you pair the data on this bike to your phone via Bluetooth. So you sync your phone to it. It gives you all your riding data. It gives you mapping of where you've been using GPS. It's a lot more portable and manageable than even some non-e-bikes. So you can throw this on a luggage rack on the back of an RV and not worry about stressing it out, especially considering it's an e-bike. So when I talked at the beginning of this video how this can kind of relate to folks with RVs, one of the challenges you run into is typically an e-bike is going to weigh between about 55 to 65 pounds. Now the folks over electric and a few other bikes are a little lighter weight than that. Some of them are in the 45 pound range, but rarely are you going to see anything in the 30 pound range. So to have a bike this lightweight, carbon fiber, hydraulic front and back disc brakes is really cool. To have all the technology baked into this thing is also really cool. It is such an interesting bike in terms of what's included. You don't have to add anything to it. It even comes with this cool little carrying pouch that comes mounted to your top tube right there. So again, very, very cool technology built into this thing. It comes in one giant box, but the benefit of that one giant box is the fact that it's pretty much assembled. The only thing you really have to do is throw the front tire on, throw your pedals on and your seat post in, and you're good to go. And everything from that perspective kind of aligns with a fully built, fully completed bike. So. In terms of something like this, you really don't have to take it to a bike shop once you get it. You can pretty much assemble it all yourself. On a lot of bikes, when they get mailed to you, the handlebars aren't connected. So you have to attach the handlebars and the stem to the tube on your fork, and you have to make sure you do that correctly. 
On this bike, you don't have to, again, because it's pretty much completely assembled. Uh, you know, the other really cool thing about this is that the computer on this is firmware upgradable. So once you pair your phone to it, you can check for any software updates, anything like that that may be needed to give you a better experience on the bike or to fix any quirks or anything like that. Now, something that a lot of people are really gonna like about this bike is that it has a built-in alarm. You heard me right. So if you try to engage this bike or use this bike or even carry this bike off when the alarm is set, you're gonna get an audible alarm that goes off on the bike, letting the would-be thief know that this bike has an alarm built into it. And there's no way to shut it off without the owner of the bike actually coming up to it with their phone or using the biometric scanner right here to disable the alarm. So that is really, really cool. Now, even though I do wish that this was a mid-drive bike, which essentially means that the motor is placed right here in the center, uh, this is a rear drive or a hub-driven drive bike, which means the motor's right here in the hub uh, on the wheel itself. It does use a torque sensor versus a cadence sensor. So a torque sensor is not gonna give you that jerky and kind of a lacking power assistance feel that you might get on lower cost bikes that use either a cadence or a speed sensor. Uh, the pedaling sensitivity is virtually real time. And as you adjust pedaling sensitivity, it, it is very, very instantaneous. You don't have to worry about it like lagging or taking a long time, or, you know, depending on how you're pedaling, it's gonna, again, kind of be this jerky feeling as if it's just taking off on you without the right input from the pedals. Um, it has a carbon belt, which is really cool. They say it's three to five times more durable than the traditional chain drive. I mean, it'll last up to 30,000 kilometers um, without you ever having to mess with it. Now, speaking of motors, it has a 250 watt rated motor. Uh, provides 35 newton meters of torque and it has what's called adaptive motor technology which puts out the correct amount of assistance for either steep slopes climbing or high speed cruising while it has a proprietary clutch that gives you this resistance free pedaling so basically again it just is designed to be able to adapt to the different types of terrain you may be riding over now the battery that is right here has a capacity of 360 watt hours. Uh, it fully charges in two and a half hours and it has an 80 mile range. Now keep in mind, range is gonna be dictated very much by where you ride, how you're riding, what type of conditions you're riding in, the slope, the elevation, all of that stuff. So just keep that in mind. Um, the battery itself utilizes Samsung lithium ion cells in it and it is sealed. So you don't have to worry about rain or things like that causing any major issues. They say the tires are puncture resistant. Um, I, I know that I had to air them up to 80 PSI or 85 PSI. I actually aired them up a little bit lower than that. Uh, they take quite a bit of air pressure as is pretty common with these road style tires. It's definitely a slightly wider profile tire than what you would see on like a, a really high-end carbon racing bike. It's more of a commuter style bike, of course. And then you even have customizable horn beeps. So if you want to honk the horn on this thing, basically it's just coming up to this and pressing the button and you can change the horn honk on this specific bike if you're looking to do that as well if you want a different type of tone and it is loud enough for most people on the road now if somebody's wearing headphones or if they have music playing really loud they may not be able to hear you but it's about as loud and functional as your typical bell on a bike but they've done a good job with it now I want to show you something that is really cool so I'm going to press the button here and hold it and you'll see a little face icon up here headlight on light on Headlight off. Light off. Check that out. Turn signals, that's another cool thing. So I can press a button right here. Turn signal is on. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. All right, so you may ask how the turn signals actually work. So it's kind of cool. They actually call this system the ARIES system or Advanced Rear Early Indication System. On the back, you actually have a positional light. So this lets people know that there's a bicyclist on the road, but then you have projection style lighting as well. So these lights right here that kind of protrude out from the side actually cast light on the roadway to let people know which way you're turning. So they'll actually see the light projected out on the road whenever you use a turn signal. So that's really cool. During the daytime, it's not gonna be super effective because of course of how bright it is outside, but at night, this can certainly come in really handy. During the daytime, I would definitely resort to uh, hand signals if you're gonna be making turns, especially if you're riding on any type of public roadway. And here's probably one of the coolest features or attributes about this bike, and if you've waited this long in the video, this is one you definitely wanna hear. So this has GPS tracking built into it. It has 4G built into it, as well as eSIM technology, so you don't have to put a physical SIM card inside of it, and you can GPS track where the bike is. So if somebody actually steals your bike, 
they have no idea that you could be actually remotely tracking this thing and monitoring where it is. So again, very, very cool. It gives you a ton of really great capabilities in terms of ensuring that your bike is safe. One from a physical alarm perspective to even having a GPS monitoring system built into the bicycle itself using 4G technology. And again, from the app perspective on your phone when you download the uh, Utopia app, it's going to give you all sorts of information related to the bike, how you've ridden it, how far you've ridden it, um, how far you've ridden it over a period of time, how fast you went, your GPS map of where you actually went with it gives you all that information very very cool i highly recommend you visit these folks on their website if you're interested in something like this the key differentiations between this and the typical e-bike that's out there probably the biggest one is weight it weighs so much less carbon fiber really reduces the weight of this bike a 30 pound bike like this is almost unheard of unless you're paying way 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 into the five six seven eight thousand dollar range so for this thing to weigh 30 pounds and to give you all the technology that it has baked into it. Basically, you don't need to add anything to this bike. So it gives you everything that you need all kind of built into one platform. And the price of this bike, I believe it's about $2,500. So again, comparatively speaking to other bikes that even would come close to the features, which there's really not any, uh, you're paying probably well under half the price. Uh, I believe they give you discounts and some rebates off of it as well if you visit their website, but that's kind of the key here. You get so much technology, so much design and engineering in a bike that weighs so little and provides you a very comfortable commuting capability. Plus, if you're going to throw this thing on the back of an RV, it's not going to weigh very much. If you're going to put it on a rack, if you're going to put it on a bike holder, it's not going to weigh very much. Typically, again, when you get into e-bikes, you have to get things that are specifically designed to carry e-bikes because of their weight. And with something that weighs 30 pounds, it weighs less than a lot of aluminum framed bikes or even less than a lot of carbon fiber framed bikes um, that you might traditionally put on the back of your cargo carrier. So very, very cool. I want to give a big shout out to the folks at Utopia for providing this bike to me for review and evaluation. This has actually been a long time coming. Um, they had a prototype last year at some point they wanted to send me and I kind of turned it down. But I said, you know, let's wait until we get a production bike so we can showcase it uh, more in a realistic perspective. Okay, so we've taken this Utopia bike for a short ride and you know what's interesting about riding a bike like this when you typically ride a mountain bike is that you don't have the same type of suspension on something like this as you'd have on a mountain bike so everything feels rougher everything feels more I guess firm uh, because again there's no dampening and the tires themselves don't really act as springs like they do on mountain bikes that have really thick cushy tires that don't have quite the air pressure so riding this is very similar in terms of comfort to riding any other road bike or riding a, a commuter bike and maybe even more towards a road bike than a commuter bike because the tires on here are very low profile very small thin skinny tires but then again not as narrow or thin as you might see on a professional you know racing carbon fiber bike all that said it's very smooth it has a very comfortable ride it feels like you would expect it to feel for a bike of this style the key here is that it feels really light because again it's carbon fiber super lightweight e-bike and the, the unnatural feel that this gives off is the fact that because it's an e-bike and it's so light it feels like you have tons of power being applied to the ground and because you don't have a chain or at least a traditional chain and it's utilizing a carbon fiber belt for the drive that's really a different experience because it's quiet it's just no noise at all when you're riding you can barely hear the motor even kicking in and you know as you shift up or shift down you hear the really cool noises that go along with it or the sound so if I shift up and it even has a turbo mode so if you push this all the way up to its third speed here and then you hold it down you actually see a rocket ship icon there and it, and it goes into turbo mode. So this thing really has the capabilities of being almost the perfect bike for a lot of folks as long as you're not gonna take it through any type of off-road or I guess trail type conditions that you might normally take a mountain bike because again, this is more of a commuter bike. But riding around in town, riding around downtown, riding around cities, riding around maybe RV parks, riding around uh, you know some really, really packed trails, 
you'd probably really enjoy this. This is a super cool bike. Um, just again, you have to be realistic in the sense that if you're normally used to riding like a mountain bike or even like a beach cruiser, you know, in a beach cruiser, those big thick tires have some suspension built into those tires. Uh, and they typically have a very springy seat post. This doesn't have that, right? This is designed again to be more of that commuter, kind of a 10 speed style feeling bike or road bike. And it, it really does a great job mixing in all the great attributes that you might want in one of those bikes, but with a really cool rear motor drive and this thing just again just feels absolutely great anyways guys I really like this I'm gonna be doing more videos on it again a huge shout out to the folks at uh, Utopia for providing this bike for review and evaluation to my channel um, it's super cool uh, you know I'm a big fan of bikes and this definitely doesn't let me down anyways guys I sure hope you've enjoyed this video stay tuned if you want some more updates on how this bike is performing and and how I like it I have a, I have a good feeling about it guys if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon.